Well, again, the verdict's still out on Cowboys offensive coordinator Kellen Moore. On Thursday, we saw head coach Mike McCarthy at his end-of-season presser not commit to bringing Kellen back. That really great coach you're alluding to, Dan Quinn. I can confirm he is returning for a third season as Dallas's defensive coordinator. Asked exactly what Booker said to him, Luca told us there was simply no safer TV way to communicate that. I don't worry that much about the leadership void that will be left because yeah. I still believe in guys like Dak Prescott, Zach Martin, Tank Lawrence, and then you've got this younger group of guys with Parsons yeah. and Diggs and CD that have to step up now. Then he created a very sizzling new headline. Jerry thinks Cooper Rush can take Dak Prescott's job. How did he get there? Well, it started with a question I asked him, which had absolutely nothing to do at all with the quarterbacks. This franchise hasn't won back-to-back -back division titles since the 90s. How much do you think about that, and, and how important is it to get off to a good start in the division? It's not just the picks, Bobby, but the completion percentage numbers, the touchdown-to-interception ratio, the yards per game, they're not quite what they were during that stretch. Whether Moore's here or not, how did the Cowboys get Dak to that early 2021 version that we saw? It was emotional and uncomfortable. But once again, Dak Prescott was willing to publicly discuss race when asked Thursday about the Jerry Jones photo and LeBron James comments. Will you both promise no inside jokes during this interview? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe so. I know I'm a big crybaby on that day. What would be behind those tears? Joy. Uh, Michael Gallup is walking right here behind me. Uh, he just was running all kinds of routes, running full speed, looked great catching the football. Uh, but again, there he is, Michael Gallup. Uh, he will not be going tonight. I saw that town broken in Connecticut. The faces, the funerals, the hurt, and still being there, I didn't feel it. I kept myself numb, took a song on the radio for me to feel it. So my question to you right now is, have you felt it? Have you really, fully felt Uvalde? Or are you numb?